is coming in this service. Lift up your voice and give him praise. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. We are grateful to you. We are grateful to you. For all the testimonies, we are grateful to you. For all the interventions, we are grateful to you. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Asian of Days. My Father, I thank you for what you are said to do in this service. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Today, the strong man that is waiting for you at the door of your breakthrough will die. You better say amen now. Anything that has vowed that you will not see new dawn, the God of Oyerekbo will lay them to rest in this prayer. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. God will strike your enemy down today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. It is my new dawn era. What eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard, shall be the order of the day in my life. Congratulations and amen. Put your hands together for Jesus and please take your seats. Vengeance against the strong man at the edge of our breakthrough. Don't let me react to. Luke chapter 11 verse 21. When a strong man armed keep it his palace his goods are in peace. But when he's stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him, he taketh from him all his armor, wherein he trusted and divided his spoil. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth. Praise God. One unique thing about fasting, it brings about graduation of power. In fasting, you grow in power. Not because you did hunger strike. Oh. Not because you lied on your bed all through and you are watching the clock. Clock, are you moving? <laughs> you didn't fast. <laughs> You denied yourself food, but you empowered your spirit because there is something you are about to collect. Spiritual empowerment is what guarantees the disarming. You disarm, you dislodge the forces that held you bound before. 
the forces that held you captive, the forces that held you to a standstill, And one force that you need to dislodge and level permanently is what I call the strong man. We are going to see some of his manifestations. The strong man is an evil personality, terrible in manifestation. It has denied many of their glorious destinies. And funny enough, many still don't understand how they operate. I want you to know, they don't trouble you from the beginning. They trouble you or they show up against you when your breakthrough is about to mature. I will give you plenty of instance. They wait for you at the edge of your breakthrough, at the door of their breakthrough. Their only mission is to waste all the time and all the labor spent in arriving at that point. Hear this? The power that waits for people at the edge of breakthrough does not stop them from going to church service or to attend prayer meetings. They fight and hinder you when the breakthrough is about to be announced. You see the miracle, you hear about it, but you can't lay hold of it. You can't possess it. Why? There are wicked forces in operation. Let me give you one example now, maybe two or three. There was a young man. He has already gotten the message for his in, uh, job interview. The night before the interview, they fed him with palm wine. He drank enough palm wine very well in the dream. As he woke up, his mouth was smelling palm wine. He slept. He slept. 12 o'clock. When he now woke up and remembered that it was interview, he rushed before he could go get to the place. The interview has finished. And this was not the first time. Uh, uh, funny enough, many people don't take note of things that happen to them. They wait for it to happen the second, the third, and the fourth. No, you don't need to. When you sense anything wrong, man, it's time to strike. If not, a pattern will be established. So it was after this second event that he now took his life serious. He now took it serious and dealt with the strong man before his door were open. I pray today that your own door will open. Another dedicated sister was to get married, fervent, zealous. All of a sudden, one old creature came in the form of an old woman. He said, you won't marry. He said, for this our line, for this our line, nobody they marry you. She couldn't understand it until she prayed this prayer you are about to pray now. After she dealt with the strong man that came as an old woman, the teen died and she got married. I don't know what has kept you, but you will get married. Amen. You better say a good amen. amen. Another one prayed this same prayer. Strong man over my marital destiny. Fall down and die. Immediately she prayed that prayer, she herself fainted. She herself fainted. When she fainted, do you know where she found herself? In the region of the waters.
Physically, she was not wearing a crown. She was the one giving the testimony. But she, in the, in the, when she entered that realm, she was wearing a crown. They rejected her. I said, go, 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 go. Why did you call that name? As she came back to normal, the same month, say with me, the same month. She didn't know that her sister too was being tied by the same powers. Strong man can tie everybody in the family. As she came at that same month, say with me, that same month. Somebody came and said, I want to marry you and let's do this thing quick, quick. Sharp, sharp, man. There are some engagement that does not need to be delayed. Even me, if I see that one, I reduce it from three months to one month. So that I will do everything sharp, sharp, sharp. Delay can be dangerous. Praise God. She got married, then her elder sister became provoked to pray the same prayer. That's why all of them started coming out one by one, one by one, one by one. You must come out too. Yeah. Any strong man sitting on your head, I guarantee you from this altar today, they will be buried. Yeah. You don't fail because you want to fail. There are forces that initiate your failure. And it is engineered by the powers called the strong man. You are almost there does not mean that you are there. Nearly. Nearly I get on. No. It's only a sign that the possibilities are high. But there are things that are vow to stop you. But scripture says, since the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. If it is not enough, you will not pray this prayer with desperation. But if you have suffered it enough, I hear what I'm saying now. If you have suffered it enough, you are going to come out. If you are saying amen, say better, amen. amen. Another sister, anytime she takes in her own, they were using red pepper. Anytime she sees red pepper in the dream, that one is a witchcraft manipulation. The thing will just go. <laughs> she made up her mind that day, whoever is behind my misfortune, oh God, let the strong man die. She prayed that prayer, prayed that. No, no long prayer point. Oh. Not uh, Father, your words. Whoever is behind my misfortune. Oh God, let that strong man die. She continued in that prayer. Day one, day two, day three. After the seventh day. After the seventh day, the personality was wasted. I don't know who is behind your disappointments. But I know that God of Oyeriko will hear your cry today. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Moses saw the promised land, but he never entered. Nearly. Nearly. The powers that are about to break through anytime you are close can come in form of anger. One useless anger will just come upon you. Before you know what's happening, you will just misbehave. Or do things that will scatter your opportunity. Or do things that will turn the hearts of people that are set to favor you. Coming to church with an unfulfilled dream is not the plan of God for you. Living in a family and nothing is working is not the plan of God for your family. Are you hear what I'm saying now? For a great door and effectual is open unto us, but there are many adversaries. Hear me and hear me well. Our adversary, the devil, is fiercest. 
are most desperate every time we are close to our breakthrough. So if your enemy is desperate, man, I like you to hear this. You too, you must be desperate. Did you hear what I said? I said you must be desperate. If your enemy means business, please mean business. Mean it that in this prayer, you will not repeat it again. Whatever tormented you before now, we end today. Amen. Somebody is not saying amen. amen. What are the signs that a strong man is under attack in your life? One unique and very common sign is the manipulation of your dreams. Manipulation of your dreams. Either you are eating chicken or fried rice in dream that you have never eaten in your life. I hope you know eating food in the dream is not a sign that you are hungry. It's a sign that witchcraft powers have aborted something that should have taken place. Was he, was he yesterday or three days ago? Somebody was telling me that they overfed him in the dream to the point that he was weak. To the, as he got up, he started crying. He just knew that something has taken place. They fed him, fed him, fed him, fed him, fed him, fed him, fed him. When he woke up, he was, he was weak, physically weak. Physically weak. I said, no. And he's doing fasting, though. I said, it's not time to complain. It's time to fire back. It's a sign that your breakthrough is in view. But they are arranging again to scatter it. So, center your attack on the principal person behind the attack. Hear me? When you pray, you don't need anybody's name. The Spirit of God searches all things. And the deep things of God. Whoever is doing you, you can search him out. I don't need anybody's name. My own is whoever is after me or against my assignment. Let the vengeance of God land on his head. I don't need your name. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. It has worked before it must work again. So I told him, it's not time to complain or feel bad that uh, they have fed you again. Sca smite that the principal principality. And before you know, <laughs> Apostle Suleiman said, for an affliction to end, you must smite the afflictor. Once the afflictor is smiting, the affliction will end. Shikina. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Time will fail me to. I just remember the sister now. <laughs> Anytime she's involved in sex in the dream, her relationship will scatter. And that was the 13th time. I say it's time to fight back now. That's what we call marine programming. They can program you. Do you know why? They will want you to marry a marine too. Marine must marry marine. So anyone that is not in the marine, they will scatter it. One of the prayer points here is what we gave to her. I said, yeah, go and deal with this thing. After she finished the prayer, in her own dream, she said, the thing was not coming. Oh, so you are driving me. So you are driving me. She woke up from the dream. I started the prayer again. I started killing the thing. Hear me and hear me well. Whatever has been messing up your marital destiny, today is the last day. Amen. I say again, today is the last day. Amen. Another sign that this force is at work against you, you just feel unusual prayerlessness. 
Anytime you sense prayerlessness, man, hear me? A breakthrough is about to be punctured. You don't just feel like praying. You are not even excited to pray. I've prayed before. I've done it before. I'm tired. Why are thou downcast, O oh my soul? Why are thou disquieted within me? Is that we yet praise the Lord? Another sign that this force is at work, help us are withdrawn from you. People just turn. People that should have helped you, assisted you, they just turn. They just withdraw. They didn't just leave because they hated you. No. There is a power behind it. These powers that wage war against our breakthrough, they operate as evil monitors. Now hear this, we said it last week, that when God needed to reach a man, to reach man, he needed a man. Because this realm is not the realm of the spirit, it's the realm of man. That's why Jesus needed to come as the son of man. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? If Satan wants to come on an attack, he will need a man also. He will need a man. A man that will buy his idea. A man that will fashion out his program. We call them evil monitors. There are people that hang around you. Anyone around you, I pity them today. Anyone around you operating as an evil monitor, I pity them this night. When people begin to source information, now let me, I just remember this testimony and let me share this testimony now. This sister has been going through this pain until God intervened. And look at how God did it. The mother-in-law vowed, say with me, vowed, vowed. that she will never be pregnant. Now, when she finally became pregnant, they did, the husband did everything possible to cut off just to make sure that she doesn't get any information. Hear me? Satan is not omnipresent. He has plenty agents. So they cut her off. Pregnancy took place, nine months deliver. The month of dedication, if the week of dedication was the week she had that she has delivered. You deliver, eh? and you didn't tell me. You say, We are doing dedication next tomorrow. Eh? Guess what? After the dedication, she died. Because prophecy have gone ahead of her. The prophecy was that as the baby is coming, you are dying. Since you vowed that the baby will not come, but you can't stop that. Who's yet eating and it come to pass when the Lord commanded it not? You can't stop that. As the baby landed and she had it, she was gone. What, could, what was she using before that she couldn't use now? That's why every charm has expiring date. Every mirror has a sparing date. Why couldn't she see it month one to month nine? And they still didn't tell her, baby has come. Your mirror no work again. I don't know where they are monitoring you, but fire will catch that altar. So when the strong man wants to set evil monitor for you, he looks for people of like minds. 
that are in the monitoring evil business and position them around you. Any evil monitor in this church, I command vengeance on your head. That's exactly what happened. She, she failed. She, she it didn't just fail her. God is a mysterious God. Scripture says it disappointed the plans of the crafty that their hand cannot perform their enterprise. The second way they operate, <laughs> they delegate what we call satanic ADC. We call it follow, follow spirit. <laughs> satanic ADC. I'm sure somebody's breakthrough is confirmed. If you are saying amen, say better. Amen. amen. The third type is inherited evil covenants. I'm not going to spend time on this, but tomorrow we are going to be dealing with <laughs> crushing wicked programming. I remember one woman in Ugeli when I went to teach LDC. The husband was rich before he married her. After he married her, the man became a beggar. He was poor than a muskrat. <laughs> what did I say? Muskrat. There's no rat inside church. I remember I took the call spiritual warfare. So after the class, she said, I want to say what I've not told anybody before. That this man was rich before I married him. After I married him, he became poor. And don't let me know why he's poor. He said, there is something that I've not been able to tell anybody, which I want to tell you because I need solution. She said, there is something in me called spirit husband. That she talking now. That the thing gave her an incision on her private part. That the man's trouble starts anytime he wants to come and sleep with her. His trouble, in fact, his trouble is confirmed. That how was that bad that um, every time they are through, you will have razor blade cuts. You will have razor blade cuts. I say you have a serpent. You don't need to tell me anything. I say there is a serpent in you cutting the man. I say, do you want to be free? She said, yes. I say, you are going to do fasting with killing this thing. Are you ready? She said, yes. I just gave her the prayer points and left. After a while, she, said, she, she was the one that called and said that the snake has died. The snake has died. There's one I met in Kaduna when we were, we were to be posted in 2001. But something happened, they not delayed our posting. One of the persons that came as a pastor was HIV. So Bishop said, everybody wait. Maybe there are others hiding inside. You understand what I'm saying now? There are others hiding inside. And truly, truly, there was one hiding inside. He would go to counting room, he would steal enough money, and he was always stealing clean, clean notes. So one day they caught him. Now, there was this woman who was in that um, full-time class. 
She has been separated from her marriage for 26 years. She has been to Jolaya, Fredado, they prayed for her. She said nothing has worked. But something happened. On a particular day, Jesus appeared to her. Go and sit down with my word. Another time, Jesus appeared to her. Go to that church in Banawa. So she was now wondering which church. Until she now came to live in Faith Church, Banawa. She said, this is the place. She was narrating her story for me. I'm rounding up now. Now, the summary of it, she said, but I can't read for 10 minutes. Anytime I carry the Bible to read, I will sleep off. I said, you won't sleep. So I went to, after stadium, after the bridge, past stadium, I went to buy a very large print, the one that you can even use a Zoom. You don't need Zoom in that one. You are seeing it bold. So, we'll keep her in one room as she's reading, sleep will knock her bar. So, we now decided to be staying in the same room where she's reading so that she'll be awake. She started. As she started, that was around February, March, April, May, which was anniversary, something happened. The thing came for a fight. The strong man came for a fight. They fought physically. This was not his dream matter again. They fought physically to the point that she used her hand to break the television in the house. She broke all the accessories. Physically. It didn't end there. In the dream, there were barbed wires all around. So the thing was pursuing her. That you will not escape anywhere. You will not go anywhere. So she managed and escaped through the barbed wire with cuts. On her body. And she said, never again. For the first time after 26 years, the husband saw her after Kaswa Market. How many of us know Kaswa Market? The husband saw her after Kaswa Market and stopped by and said, when are you coming back? Any strong man that has made life difficult for you will be laid to rest today. She had a two-story building. She sold it off. The thing can wreck you to be a pauper, to be a beggar. She had cars. People that used to favor her no longer want to see her. It was that bad to the point that she was now begging people money to eat during break. But after the deliverance took place, her brother in the U.S. called her. Auntie, what are you doing? She said, nothing. He sent her 400,000. That was when Covenant University was about to start. Are you around saying now? Now, two of the sons passed Covenant University, but there was not enough money. So one had to go, another one we wait. So they were able to pay. In fact, we had to seize the money from her. If not, she will blow it. We had to collect the money, pay for the first one. Then that gave her the balance so that she can start life afresh. Now, that was how doors started opening for her. Because her victory has been established. Your victory will be established this night. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Don't wait till tomorrow. Every day is God's day. The day you decide is your own day. And I know that God will not be more powerful tomorrow than he is today. He said, with all not good from whom it is due, when it is in thy power of thy hand to do what? Act. He said, do not say to your neighbor, go and come back tomorrow when you have it right here with you. I want to say to you now, any strong man that has held your life to a standstill, whether your marital destiny, your financial destiny, your career destiny, that strong man will die. Yeah. Now, this strong man can also come in the form of wicked men and wicked women in villages. There are strong men in every village. But I don't have anyone because my arrow has kuboko all of them. I hear me, I hear me where we have had testimonies. Joy, your testimony is still fresh. We prayed that prayer. Was it September or October? The strong man that was brutalizing everybody in their family. 
was just wasted by the power of God. I don't know who has vowed that nobody will lift his head in your family. That strong man will go this night. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Any strong man that has caged your life, caged your marital destiny, today the God of Oerepo will bring them down. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rise up to your feet now. If you like, be looking like United Nations. Don't pray, be looking, looking. I know say strong man follow you. That's why you are looking, looking. But if you are ready to pray, I know you are going to be free. I, I know that I know that even tomorrow somebody will share a testimony. Pseudo poop prayer one. Any dark power and evil personality assigned to abort my breakthrough, my open door, I command your programming to scatter by the blood of Jesus. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Labo shikeketo zabala. Any dark power. Strong man assigned to abort my breakthrough, my open door. I command your programming to scatter by the blood of Jesus. Lekuta breketes eliagada.